a pleasant good evening, Royals fans. We did it. The Royals went up 3-2 to two in the series with the same count on the score, 3-2, to two, to go up 3-2 to two in the series and win the first road game in this series and in the season series as well. Our Reading Royals are now up 3-2 to two in the series because of great play. I would say the top two skating stars were Patty Bykoff and Frank Dechara. Bykoff was great on the goal and the beautiful backhanded pass by the greatly skilled Trevor Gooch as he was able to get the backhanded pass to Patty Bykoff. Frank Dechara then had a beautiful, brilliant play as McNally shot the puck on net, so he has the secondary assist. Bykoff then was patient, didn't shoot it, had the brilliant cross-crease pass to Frank Dechara. Frank the Tank that loves the Red Ink Lager for the second goal. They unfortunately then let Alex Kyle get another goal, having a defensive breakdown that was rare in this game. The first two games of the series, the Royals were not fantastic, uncharacteristic on themselves, not being fantastic, one on line changes, and but most importantly in front of the net, helping out Logan Flodell. They were tonight, other than that Alex Kyle play, because the Cameron Askew goal was on the power play. Kim and Kyle made a very nice play. They were able to get it in front to Askew, and he was able to score. There's not much you can do there, um, because the Royals, as we know, um, up until that point, did not defend the power play as good in Maine in this series. But guess what they did after that point? Defended it greatly as they went 0 for 2 the main Mariners after that Askew power play goal as the Royals then did step up even so on the penalty kill on the road as well. So after <clears throat> allowing the power play goal in the first period in the second by cough, I had the goal Malatesta and Duquette had the assist on the Kyle goal as that was the breakdown. The Royals though did play the better second period by far not just shots in 13 to 5 which is destroying them but also in chances it's just, unfortunately, they had that one breakdown where the puck ends up going to Kyle, and Kyle, who has four points in two freaking games, uh, sniped it. But it is what it is, and the Royals live to tell about it anyway because Tomas Ebbing makes up for his two penalties on the night, which is rare from Tomas Ebbing, and gets the game-winning goal on a beautiful deflection that Brennan Saunier shoots a perfect low shot for the deflection. Mason Millman got the puck to Saunier on the power play as well. Royals one for one on the power play in this one. Great to see the... Great puck movement on the power play, as that is your game winner. This was a fantastic game by the Royals. Ebbing, Ebbing, Bykoff, and Dechara have to be the skating stars of the night. Obviously, Gooch and McNally and Millman are your honorable mentions, as well as Sons for having the assist. And Logan Flodell was a menace to the main Mariners again, who had 27 shots. And he faced a couple, especially in that third period, but from the late third period, push a couple of high-octane shots in that third not as much in the first two, but definitely in the third. And when he had to throughout the entire night, per usual, Logan the Beast Man, Flo Dell, makes the saves. And he got it done again tonight. Fantastic game by our Reading Royals as they now bring it home to Reading. Looking to close it out on Monday night as I will be on the call with Eric Jessberger doing the current commentating. It's been an honor to do that with the great Eric Jessberger. He's so easy to work with. Hope to get to do it going forward as well. But we'll have to see what happens there. Love and honor that I just get to do it and enjoying the ride right now that I get to do it with the Reading Royals. But please can you subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 250 or more by the end of June. That is our new goal. Have a great and safe day, everybody. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take. Let's end it on Monday, baby. Peace out, everybody.